because I'd had the idea of cycling to the South Pole um, for quite a long time. I knew that nobody had ever done it. Well, I mean, we, we used to go into bed and thinking, oh, I wonder where Maria is <laughs> now. Show me what you've got, I can't wait to see it. Oh my goodness, look at this. If this machine fails, she fails. So it's got to survive. It's been one hell of an expedition just to get to the start line. Um, in the last 24 hours, I've had altitude sickness, I've met Prince Harry, I've travelled for 19 hours overland uh, across a crevasse-ridden um, glacier, an ice cap. Having seen part of the route today, um, I mean, this is going to be one hell of a challenge. How are you? Good to see you. Things well? Yeah. good athlete to work with because all of these elements really weigh in in some way to you know, ultra endurance challenges. Half on the Pearl of Plateau, it's, you know, it's minus 30, minus 40 with the wind chill. Sometimes when I was working hard and my feet would sweat, it would then very, very quickly turn to ice. I'm here. I just gotta the next two days. I just gotta get up it. God, I hope I can get up. My right knee has absolutely just gone, and every pedal stroke is so painful. But it's just, it's just excruciating and I mean I almost got to a point where I was just like I can't do it anymore. But um, I'm now less than 200 miles. Sorry I can't breathe because I'm so, I'm almost at 3,000 metres and so it's not a lot of oxygen in the air up here. kilometers away from the South Pole. There's the South Pole. I just couldn't quite believe that not only was I the first to cycle to the South Pole, but I'd also managed to cycle every single meter um, of the way. Well done, you just cycled into the history books. <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>